Yeah, for my Q&A video I did a couple weeks ago, somebody named Harriet Drake asked me about, you know, common misconceptions I get. You know, that was really kind of a broad subject, so I decided to make an entire video uh, devoted to some of the most common ones that I get. So does your body just cut off at the waist? My body does not cut off at the waist. Um, I know it does look like that, especially from wearing jackets, sweaters, or whatever. But I'm actually missing uh, part of my lower spine. The growth of my thighs was, was stopped by pins at age three. So they're, they're really small. But my body does not cut off at the waist, no. You must save so much money on pants. I actually do wear pants. My, uh, my legs were amputated at the knee. So yes, I, I do wear pants. I have nubs that I wear more. It must suck to have your balls drag on the ground. Um, my balls do not drag the ground. My nubs are actually the lowest part of my body. And uh, I'm usually stabilizing myself on them or I'm standing on my arms and my balls are quite elevated from the ground. <laughs> so I'm thankful for that. You know. Why don't you just get prosthetic legs? Um, prosthetic legs actually were never an option for me because uh, the issue is with my lower spine and I actually cannot even uh, move my nubs freely, so so I can't use prosthetic legs. Were so. you in the military? I was not in the military. Uh, I get that quite often. Um, I was born this way. I've been this way my whole life. So no accident, no military. Your upper body must be really strong. My body's not naturally stronger than anyone else's. I mean, I'm moving around a lot of my arms and everything, but I'm only moving a body that weighs 70 pounds. So, I mean, some of my muscles are a little bit stronger than average, but for the most part, like, it's, I'm not stronger than anyone else that doesn't work out. <laughs> so, you never have to use the bathroom? Um, <laughs> I do have to use the bathroom um, a few times a day, actually. Um, I have not been holding it for 31 years now. How can you drive if you can't reach the pedals? I drive using hand control modifications in my car. Um, so I don't actually use the foot pedals. I've never seen anybody who looks like you before. Your condition must be very rare. Sacral agenesis is very rare. Um, uh, one in 25,000, I believe. But, uh, <clears throat> It varies a lot. In fact, there are many people with sacral agenesis that actually have legs. So you may not even know they have sacral agenesis. It's just, it depends on where the issues developed in the lower spine. It varies a lot. So you must have someone come in and assist you with your household chores. No, I've, I've lived, a, uh, you know, by myself for most of my adult life. And uh, I do not have people assist me with my household chores. I've been dealing with household chores forever, um, so that's just that's just a normal part of my life. How do you cope needing help for even the most basic tasks? I normally do not need any additional help for any task, but uh, you know when I'm out and about, you know people are helpful and that's nice. You know, like if I go into an elevator, you know people might assume uh, he can't reach the button, so they hit the button for me. I can pump gas. I can go to the store. I can go out wherever I need to go. It's, I've never had any issues. You know, uh, all that being said, you know, I love that people are helpful. Like, I just love that people are nice. You should always put your best foot forward. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Uh, phrases like that have uh, never offended. <laughs> I'll put my foot down and stand up for what I believe in, you know. You know, or, or sometimes I'll uh, say the wrong thing and, uh, you know, we'll put my foot in my mouth. You know, I really never cared about phrases like that. You are so courageous. You know, people have said that to me on occasion, and, uh, you know, it's nice for them to say. But, you know, when I face each day, I don't really need, like, any additional, like, like, how am I going to get up today with this condition? Like, darn, I don't have legs today. You know, how am I going to get through this? Like, I, I just go through each day, like I'm assuming everyone else does, you know, just... You know, what do I got to do today? You know, whatever. And like everyone else, I might have good days or bad days. But it's rarely, if ever, related to my condition. Your life must be terrible. That, uh, that actually reminds me of a very funny story. Um, 
you know, I was, I was at a Lego convention last year, and I was using the elevator, and uh, the guy, the guy that was in the elevator with me, he looks, he looks over at me, and he just shakes his head, and he's like, your life is terrible, and I'm just like, what? It's your life, your life is terrible, and I'm just like, no, no, it's, it's not, I'm, I'm actually, you know, I'm a pretty happy guy, my life's pretty good, no, no, it's, it's terrible. God, look, it's fine. My, my, my life is good. It's, it's not terrible. And then even as he's leaving the elevator, terrible. And I'm just like, what was that? Have you ever had a girlfriend? It is a very big misconception that uh, people with disabilities do just not participate in uh, romantic relationships. That is very, very untrue. Maybe one day you'll find a woman who looks at what's on the inside. I don't actually have to find somebody that only looks on the inside. It is possible for me to find somebody that is physically attracted to me. Admittedly, that person is probably not going to be a leg person. It doesn't have to be somebody that only sees inner beauty. Shouldn't you be dating someone who's like you? Someone with a disability? You know, somebody might assume that uh, you know somebody out there with a disability may have less value as a romantic partner. Luckily, not everybody feels this way. Um, but as for me, you know, I'll date whoever, you know, I fall in love with. Disabilities, it's not a factor. I was just having a little bit of fun with some of the more common misconceptions I get. This video was meant to be educational only. This was not meant to shine light on anybody or anything of that nature. If, uh, if any of these happen to me in real life, I don't ever get upset. Like, somebody, you know, might assume something, that's fine. They're just... You know, they've just never seen it before more times than not. If there's anything that you think might be a misconception, post it in the comments below and I will let you know. Well, that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe below. And I will catch you guys next time.